Hey folks, and welcome back to Glenn and Adrian's Rock Talk. That's Adrian. And that's Glenn. And today, we're going to revisit Rush with an early track that we've loved, and I actually thought we'd done it, but we haven't. It's A Farewell to Kings. It's the title track on their fifth album. It's the first track. It's uh, a beautiful song, acoustic parts in the beginning, and then does all the stuff we love about that period of Rush afterwards. And this song leads into Xanadu, so I mean, you knew it had to be good to do that. So we're going to look at the actual official music video that came out back in the 70s. So I'm very interested in this. I have never seen this video before. Uh, Adrian, have you seen this? Uh, Not yet. Okay. Again, this is like the, the prime period for Rush, if you ask me. All right, let's go ahead and take a look.
All right. Well, that was pretty cool to see. I was seeing back when they actually recorded the song and uh, showing all the stuff, showing Alex in the beginning playing the classical guitar and just yeah. this explosion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very nice. A couple of things I can mention. I remember from uh, our earlier videos that Alex actually did record that acoustic guitar part outside in a setting very much like that one. It was out in like the countryside somewhere, I think, is where the studio was. And it had been raining, but it wasn't raining right then. And so they set up outdoors, and they all recorded live that beginning part. And there were two microphones, I think about 10 feet apart. So Alex is walking around, and you can hear him. You can hear him moving from one mic to the other if you're wearing headphones. <laughs> you can hear him where his guitar is moving along. Pretty cool effect. That was nice. I also... Note that the lyrics are very much like 2112. Take heart and uh, rise up against your oppressors, you know, some of whom might actually just be demons, you know, posing as normal humans who are ruling, you know, the whole thing with the kings. And yeah, it's similar. It's like recounting some mythology or something in a way, but or, or old tales, which does differ from how they started writing a little bit later on, just a couple albums later. So that was fun to see. You can tell they probably did digitally rip that video uh, some time ago. I wonder if maybe they'll ever go back and try to get a higher res version. But yeah, it was fun. I mean, we could see perfectly well what was going on, and it was very cool. The kimono phase of the band oh, <laughs> in, in full bloom. So folks, let us know what you thought about that. If you've seen that video before, if you saw that tour if you've ever heard them play that song on tour, you know, what tour that was, I'd be interested to know about that. If you have other suggestions for us, please leave those below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed our presentation, please subscribe. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right. Take care, folks. See you all later.